You like waving to your adoring public, don't you? <laughs> Whatever. Right. Welcome once again to Learn Math with me, Brian Sapinski, and with me as always, the best little guy in the business. Me, Joey. Okay, yes. <laughs> and we are ready to continue on week two of first grade math as uh, Joey and hopefully your first graders out there continue in our work of beginning to add numbers leading all the way up to uh, 10, as high as that for the moment. And we started with uh, using you know, counters such as these. We finally have counters this week and some other manipulatives in trying to enhance the ability to be able to do the addition. But now we want to go over a couple of particular rules that make certain additions uh, a little more easier to try to come together and, and could give you some helpful uh, tips and tricks. Now, the first one that Joey did is, I don't know why you are doing that with your counters here. Come on, put those down. Okay. Hey. You, can, you can play when we're done. Anyway. I like it. <laughs> See what he does behind my back, folks. Anyway, so the first thing that you did this past week was the idea of what happens when you add zero to a number. So, for instance, let's say you push four counters in front of you, and I push forward Zero mm -hmm. counters. That's yep. nothing. Right? So that means we have how many counters total in front of us? Nothing. I, no, no, I have nothing, but, to oh, get, but together four. we add four. Right. Okay, because four plus zero gives you four. All right. What if instead, what if you put Let's six see. counters in front of you and I push nothing forward? How many total do we six. have? We still have six. Okay. And what if it's nine counters and I push forward? Nothing. Nine. Nine. Still nine. The bottom line is, is that no matter what number you start with, if you take any number and you add zero to it, the number you end up with is not different, but... It's the same. Right. Exactly. That's what's called the zero property of addition. Adding zero to any number gives you the same number. So... If you want to think about it, zero is kind of like that song War. Remember? War. Who? Yeah. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again now. War. Who? Yeah. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah. Well, if anything, it's, we've proven it's good for something, but, well, we'll get to that another time. All right, so that was the first property that we uh, discussed with addition this past week. Now, the next thing that Joey saw and that you will see as well is that when you are adding any two numbers together, it is possible, like, let's say, for instance, Joe, okay, put two counters in front of you. Put two, push two counters forward. Two, come on, two. Okay. All right, you, all right it's, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, and let's say I put three counters in front of me. So two plus three. Five. Five. Okay, now, as you saw this past week, it, is that there another way of making five is that instead of two plus three, what could you do with these two numbers? Um, okay, so, all right, so instead of you having two in front of you, now you have... Instead of you having two and me having three, change it so that you have three and I have two, which still gives you five. Five. Okay. All right. Now, what about, all right, put six in front of you. Put six counters in front of you. Okay. So you have that. And let's say I put one counter in front of me. So six plus one. Seven. Seven. Okay. And what? instead of you having six and me having one. What if we switch it again? So instead of, okay, so instead of you six and me one, you have one, and I have six, which one plus six still gives you <laughs> seven, the same seven, exactly. So the whole idea here is that whenever you add any two numbers together, 
you can switch the order that you add the two numbers and still get the same sum. Now, there's a name for that particular property. It's a complicated word, definitely for a first grader, but it's one that the sooner you know it, it can do a lot of uh, good things for you. And we've gone over that word, that name for that is in here. You, let's, you could say it. The, it's called the commutative property. You say it. Commutative property? Property. 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 Okay, yes. <laughs> All right, that's it. He had the commutative part, right? He, he gets the harder word right and the slightly lesser. Oh, who cares? So as we just showed in those last couple of examples, switching the two numbers can produce the same sum. But there are other ways to also produce that same sum by using a completely different pair of numbers. So picking up with the seven, as we just did here, and we are taking it to the big whiteboard. Dun, dun, dun. All right. <laughs> yes, now it's time for excitement. Step back. My God. <laughs> okay. But now here, you've come, we've already seen six plus one and one plus six, Joey. All right. So come up with another pair of numbers now that makes seven. Let's get something completely different. Seven plus zero. Zero. Okay. And here I'll. Fill those in just for the. I'll fill the zero in. You chill. Okay, so that's one. Okay, <gasps> but there are other combinations as well, and that fits the zero property that we talked about yeah, before. Yeah, All right, we come up with another one. So give me another combination that makes seven. What's another one you could do? Okay, yes, that'll work. Three plus four. So that. I'll fill the four in. Okay. Oh, relax. I can I, can I do right. four? Wait, I got it. Wait, wait. I'll wait. do it. I'll do it. <laughs> this kid can do it all, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's sort of in there somewhere. We got it. <laughs> all right. All right. That's good. Okay. We can see. Okay. There, there it is. Kind of, sort of. It's all in there. So... But that, but that's the ba the basic body of it. So, and there are other combinations beside this. The whole way is just knowing that when you know what one part of this of the amount that you're looking for is, you just need to know the remainder that goes with it. All right. But now, are you ready now to take the lightning round challenge on this? Oh one? yeah, you. Okay. Maybe and it. since we've been adding to ten, that's been the the main goal. Let's go straight to 10, all right? So are you, are you ready to try to make 10s? Oh my gosh, yeah, you are. Okay, then let's do it. All right, Joe, so here is the board. Now, as you can see, I've written the number 10 a total of 11 times. That's because there are 11 pairs of numbers that can add up to make 10. Now, some of them are gonna be the same with the numbers switched around. That's going to happen several times, but we're going to see if, just like before, in the two minutes, just like we did last time, let's see if you could come up with all 11 combinations. Are you ready to do your best with it? I guess. Okay. Well, I guess. don't worry. I guess. You do your best. I got a good feeling about this. All right. Let's, all right, the two minutes on the clock. Get the marker open. Get the marker open without the marker. <laughs> Last thing you want is to, all right. You can start in a blank. Wait, wait, wait. I got to start the clock. All right. All right. Two minutes. I have three minutes. No, you get two minutes, just like last time. Let's see if you can fill in all 11 at a time. Okay. All right. All right. Just get it written and don't worry. They'll see the results you get. All right. Ready? Two minutes and go. 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 Okay. okay. What's one combination that makes 10? Um, 10 and. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got it. 10 and zero. Okay. That's one. Come up with another. Give me another one. Okay. Good. One and uh, nine. Okay, I know what you meant. All right, all right. One and nine. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Next one. Next one. Get another one. Remember, don't forget to switch the numbers around. You could you could switch the numbers and that and that's a different combination. Zero and ten. Okay, that's three. Give me another one. Okay. You did one and nine. What else can you do? Not, okay, you're still writing your nine backward, but that's okay. Nine and one. Okay, all right. All right, you got to come up with another one now. Come on. Make another one. 
Five ends. Five, okay, you got five ends. All right, keep going. Come up with another one. Use a new number. Fine, right. still got time. Pick a different number. Is there? Okay. Use a different number. You have to use a number you haven't used yet. No, you've already used 10. No, you've used 10 both ways. No, you can't use that again. Um, Pick a different number. Pick a number you haven't used yet. Um, nine? No, you've used nine already. You've used the nines. Don't use nine. Don't use 10. Don't use five. Don't use one. Don't use zero. Use a new number. Um, new numbers. New numbers, Joe. Oh, new numbers. Come on. New numbers. Come on. Come on, Joe. Oh, no. Use new numbers. Um, What's another number? <gasps> Two ends. Come on. Eight. Uh, put the eight down. Okay, you got it. You got it. All right. <laughs> he said. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, you did. You did great. You were starting off fine, but then you kind of stalled because you forgot you had other numbers. You always got to remember the other ones. All right. Let's see if you can come up with the other ones real quick before we wrap this up. All right. So, right. If you have two and eight, then you have right. Turn around. You have eight and two. No, no, no. Not three. Not three. Look, you used eight, and that's not three. That's two. So you'd have to put two there. Okay, all right. So that was one. All right. And what would it, and let's see what the other ones were. What would it be if you had three? What would the other one have been? No, you can't use eight again. Eight, seven. eight, eight yes, yeah, seven. seven, right. That's what that would have been. And then turn it around, and that would have been the next one. So it switched three and seven, so it would have been seven here and three there would have been the other outcome, right? Seven, three. And then the other combination, there's only two numbers you haven't used yet, and that would be four and... Eight? No, no, no eight goes seven? with two. No, seven goes with three. Six? Six, six would have been it. Yeah, that was the one. Okay, and then turn them around, and that would have been the last combination. Switch them. Switch them for the last one. Go ahead. Switch them for the last one. Six and four. four. That would have been it. All right. It's a. It's a. Okay. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. Just gotta always. Remember, you can't forget your other numbers there, Joe. Yeah, but, but, but it's okay. You did fine. You, you still got six of them. And hey, that's still that's still pretty. Okay. No. Not not right now, Joe. All right. Well, draw it after we sign off. Okay, right. But he did. He did a good job here. Proof. It's it's not easy. Some uh, sometimes when you first learn it out. So with that in mind, we're gonna sign off for this week's uh, first grade math video. And as you can see, Joey has uh, added a little extra content to the board because he wants you to love this video. Exactly. All right. Uh, yes, and please make sure to show your love by uh, clicking the like button, sharing this video with your friends and family. And get one subscribers yes subscribe as well share it with your friends and family especially those that you know that have first graders yeah that share it with benefit. all your family in the whole world <laughs> yes okay and if you need more practice material to help further this along don't be afraid to email me at brian.sapinski at gmail.com and i'll be happy to set you up with more material and you can even uh, come up with some uh, material similar to this on your own to be able to help your first career out it's very easy to do and i promise uh, you and your kids can have a lot of fun with this uh, in the meantime then as he <laughs> continues to you know draw and make messes here, whatever, okay. in his own typical style. My name is Brian Sapinski. He's Joey, and we will see you very soon. Take care. Uh, you got to turn around and say goodbye, guys. Bye. Uh, turn that Bye. way. Bye. <laughs> we'll see you.